Each foot strap is mounted with two screws and two washers. The straps are centered and moved forward for entry-level sailors and light wind conditions, aiding stability and easier maneuvering. Adjust the straps to fit your individual size. Tighten the vent screw and keep it closed when sailing. Insert the fin into the fin box. Place the fin bolts and metal washers inside the rubber safety washers and insert the fin bolts into the board through the fin bolt holes. Tighten the screws. The dagger fin is retractable. When sailing in non-planning conditions, slide the fin knob back with your foot, moving the fin into a vertical position. Avoid sand from entering the fin slot and wash your board before use if necessary. Insert the mast base. Position it in the middle and tighten it. Assemble the two-piece mast and insert it into the mast sleeve. Insert the mast extension and tighten the downhaul. Position the boom in the correct shoulder-high position and clamp it to the mast. Mount the outhaul line and tension it until you have a nice even sail curve. Tie your uphaul line to the boom and pull the rubber band over the mast extension. Mount the rig to the mast base. Check where the wind is blowing from. Launch your board by walking with your back and mast facing the wind direction. Uphaul your rig with your back to the wind. Let your board rotate to a 90 degree angle to the wind direction as soon as the rig is partly out of the water. Continue to slowly uphaul while using your legs, not your back. Rotate your board 360 degrees. Hold the rig with your uphaul line while walking around the mast with short steps. Always with your back to the wind. Tilt the rig in the opposite direction you want your board to turn. Start sailing by holding the uphaul line while rotating your board to a 90 degree angle. Step into the front foot strap. Grab the boom with your mast hand, which is your hand closest to the mast. This is called a crossover grip. Grab the boom with your other hand and sheet in. You will start sailing. The definition of the sailing position is when you are sailing straight forward with your boom horizontal. Place your back foot into the rear strap as soon as in full balance. Adjust your course by rig steering. Tilt your rig backwards to steer into the wind, luffing, and tilt it forward to steer away from the wind, bear off. When you want to turn your board against the wind, while you are pulling the boom in with your back hand, it is called tacking. Get out of the foot straps as soon as the sail is depowered and grab the uphaul line. Rotate the board into the new sailing position. Do a crossover grip and start sailing. Tilt the rig forward if you want to turn your board away from the wind. Grab the uphaul line and let go your back hand when the board starts turning. 
Let your rig swing around in front of your board and rotate it into a new sailing position. Do a crossover grip and continue sailing. Windward is the side facing the wind. Leeward is the side away from the wind. Luffing. To steer closer to the wind by tilting the rig backwards. Bearing off. To steer away from the wind by tilting the mast forward. It is impossible to sail directly against the wind direction. The closest angle on a sailboard is approximately 45 degrees. Consequently, you will have to work your way to windward by tacking. It is called sailing a beat or upwind. Sailing downwind. You are sailing with the wind in from behind. Reaching. You are sailing with the wind in from the side. Intermediate foot strap position. To accommodate for more wind, the foot straps are moved back. You are in good balance and the board is still stable in relation to wind pressure. Advanced foot strap position. The straps are moved further back and closer to the side of the board. This provides perfect balance and speed in high wind conditions. No, 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 no. No worries at all. The mast base is initially placed in the center position, but may be moved forward when using bigger sails and backwards when using smaller sails. Push the dagger fin knob forward to move the fin into the board when sailing in high wind conditions. In stronger wind, the harness becomes an important part of your equipment. Mount your harness ropes on both sides of your boom and adjust them forward to accompany entry-level sailors and light wind conditions. Move them backwards for more advanced sailors and stronger wind conditions. Use longer ropes as a novice sailor, which allows you to adjust mistakes and to hook in and out easier. As you feel more comfortable, you may gradually shorten your ropes to your desired length. It is important that your board and sail is angled in a reaching position. Hold the boom with both hands and let the wind pressure help you to climb on. It is again important to angle your board into a reaching position. Let the wind pressure lift you from the water onto the board while bending your knees. A tack can be executed by shifting your grip from the boom via the mast and to the boom on the opposite side. With some experience, you may tack more efficiently by shifting grip directly from boom to boom. The jibe can be executed the same way as a tack, by shifting your grip from the boom via the mast and to the boom on the opposite side. Likewise, a fast jibe can be carried out the same way, directly from boom to boom. A duck jibe is more advanced. It is done by ducking under your boom while shifting grip from boom to boom. 